In this video I'm going to show you how we can use the graphical calculator to work out various different normal distribution calculations. These are the ones we're going to work on and we're going to use this distribution up here x behaving normally with a mean of 10 and a variance of 5 squared or 25 so the standard deviation is 5. If you're doing these calculations in an exam make sure that you're showing all of your working out and only using your calculator to check. The two sections that are written in red down here are your instructions for exactly what details we need to enter. So we'll start on our first one, the probability of x being less than 13. What we're going to do on the calculator is we're going to press options and we're going to go into statistics and then we want a distribution and of course it's the normal that we want. Now we're only going to use NCD and INVN. NCD is for doing usual calculations with a normal distribution. So pressing that, we can see here what we're going to need to put in. We're going to need to put a lower bound, an upper bound, the standard deviation, and the mean value. So we want less than 13, and of course, in our normal distribution, we would have a mean of 10, and we're looking for 13 and down. We're looking for the shaded section. Of course the graph carries on to negative infinity so for our lower bound I'm just going to put a very large negative number like minus 999. Pressing this comma button here I'm going to put my upper bound, my upper bound of the section I want is 13 so I'm going to put that in, comma again. Now this is the standard deviation notice that we generally give the mean and then the standard deviation squared or the variance in this place we're actually putting the standard deviation before the mean so there I'm going to put 5 and the mean is 10 and close off the brackets and there is our answer so the probability x is less than 13 for this distribution 0 0.7257 etc if we're doing a question like this where we've got an upper and a lower bound it's very simple all we're going to do is put those two bounds in from 9 to 14 and then we're going to put in our value of the standard deviation, our value of the mean, close off the bracket and there's our probability calculated for us. For a question such as this it's the same as this one except we now don't have an upper bound. Our little diagram would be that we're going from 12 upwards to positive infinity so again, when we do that calculation, what we're going to do is go from 12 up to some very large number. And again, putting in the values 5 and 10 and closing it off. And there's our value. So we've worked that out nice and easily. For this last question, we're looking for a value A such that we get a probability being less than this value being 0.9 course what that translates to in a normal distribution graph is some value here a so that this area here is equal to 0 0.9 and the way that we enter that is by pressing the inverse norm CD so inverse norm the probability we're interested in here is 0 0.9 and again we're putting these two values in so 5 and 10 and that tells us that this value here must be 16.4 so that the area less than that value is 0 0.9. It's all very simple as long as you remember these two rules here lower and upper bound or probability and then make sure you get these around the right way a different way around from how we would normally present it and again just make sure in an exam you're only using all of this the calculator to check your answer you're not just writing down the answer. The examiner is going to want to see your method. And that's as easy as it is.